Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, you guys, which means that it is vlog day, but this is definitely not going to be a vlog. It's not going to be a vlog that everybody's used to. This week for me, you guys, was it was crazy. It's been a crazy short week. There were a few things that came up that required my attention that I just had no choice. I just had to take care of them. So what that means is we're going to get like this sort of condensed down, shorter version of the vlog. There's a few segments I would like to include today. We're not going to do any viewer mails. We're definitely not going to do beer. We're definitely not going to do, oh, maybe comments of the week. I don't know. I don't think we're going to do comments of the week. Here's what I have planned. I'll tell you what I have planned instead of telling you what's not included. What I have planned is some vape mail. I got a bunch of vape mail here that I'm actually pretty excited to open up. So we're going to be opening up some vape mail. And of course, when we're going through the vape mail, we're going to find something along the way to sort of set up and vape in this video. We're also going to be having a retro vaping and we're also going to be having a very random juice tasting. But those segments are going to be fused, like just glue-on chamber together into one segment. It's going to be called the retro vaping and a juice and random juice tasting doesn't does that doesn't quite roll off the the tongue very well does it but it's going to be something it's going to be a thing i'm going to do a retro vaping and a very random juice tasting all in the same segment um let's just dump let's enough with this enough with explaining what's going on let's just jump into it so the first thing that i want to do is that thing that's my new favorite thing where i hear from one of my subscribers so real quickly i would like to hear from william how you doing my name is william I'm from Anchorage, Alaska, and first I want to say thank you for everything that you have done, and I've been watching your videos for about three years, and then I was wondering if I could get a shout out for my girlfriend going on nine years, uh, Sylvia, and my son, little baby Caden, and my other son, Troy. Uh, if I could get a shout out for them because they are all the reasons that I started baking in the first place. Have a good day and thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely, William. You you didn't request a shout out for yourself, but I'm definitely going to shout you out, William. Bump that fist. And as far as the rest of your shout outs go for your family, I'm going to try to remember these names. Sylvia. Yeah, definitely shout it out, Sylvia. Also... Kaden, yeah, definitely shout it out, Kaden. Also, oh man, I thought I could remember all of the names. Kaden, Sylvia, Kaden, and Troy. Sylvia, Kaden, and Troy. See, I need to say them all together. It's like Sylvia, Kaden, and Troy, and that's how I remember things. I just go Sylvia, Kaden, and Troy, and that's how I remember. Sil Sylvia, Kaden, and Troy, you are all absolutely shouted out. William, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. I hope you're thriving up there in Anchorage, Alaska. Or actually, I don't know if you said Anchorage. I think you just said Alaska, but either way, I hope you're doing fantastic up there in Alaska. If anybody else has any videos like Williams that they would like to see featured in these here vlog videos, just send them on over to me, nick at groomgreen.com. It can kind of be anything. Just keep it short. If you want to shout yourself out, shout out your family members, uh, just shoot the shit, tell your story, talk about what you're vaping, shout out your shop. It's all welcomed. You can just send them on over to nick at groomgreen.com and just mark it that thing, that one thing that you like to do. Chances are I'll see the attachment and I'll know what it's for, but it, it helps me out a little bit if you put it in the uh, put it in the in the subject of the email there. Anyway, thank you so much, William, for that video. And what I want to do right now is just real quickly talk about what I've been vaping. I actually like I actually streamlined all my setups. Um, I, I was up in Colorado with Ruby Roo this last weekend, and we did a live Culture of Clouds podcast on my YouTube, streamed live, and it was. I mean, it was the most fun. It was it, it was tons of fun. If you haven't got to check it out yet, check it out. It's on my YouTube and the Culture of Clouds is always on SoundCloud and iTunes if you want to search for it there. I love the podcast. It's a fantastic podcast and we did it live. And so that's where I've been and that's why this week is so short. Additionally, there's some days this week where I'm just not going to be in my office. And so uh, I'm just... I, I am at stress level maximum right now, stress level maximum, but it's not about that. It's about this. It's about what I have been vaping. So first things first, um, e-mask, 
it, it's my it's my regulated banger. Uh, it's been hanging around for quite a long time. It's it's got right now. It's a very unfilled uh, Falcon Resin Artisan Edition tank, and I noticed something. It's a little bit weird with this tank. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up, and I'm gonna put my uh, you know. CBD inside this juice as well. And here's how I do it. You want to see how I do it? I might as well just show you. I don't feel like YouTube is going to come down on me that hard for just showing you. So I usually just fill up my tank and then I take like uh, two to three dropperfuls, sometimes two, sometimes three dropperfuls of CBD and I just throw it in the tank as well. And then I, and then I shake the tank up. I make it to order. It's like batched out when I vape it. I don't pre-batch like liquids with CBD in it. It's always, I mean, unless I'm dripping, then that's that's how I'm gonna do it. But otherwise, as far, as far as a tank goes, I just put it directly in the tank and shake up the tank. And if you're gonna use this method, if this is a road you wanna go down and you wanna use this method, always put it in after your e-liquid. Put the e-liquid in first, then whatever you're gonna put on top, on top. But here's what I noticed about this Falcon Resin tank, is if you don't crank this down, correctly on the threads and really get it tight if it's like weird or sitting at a weird angle which can happen it happens to me multiple multiple times you have to get it on there real straight and crank it down real real snug if that vacuum in there if that's not sealed correctly it's just it's suddenly going to turn into like this gurgly leaky nightmare mess of a vape and the thing is when you look at the resin tank it looks normal like it looks like it's fine it's not until you get really close up to it that you see like oh i had it just off the threads just a little bit like it felt normal it looks normal but it's off the threads just a little bit and that is gonna make it like a slurpy just slurpy slurpy nightmare and I'm, i gotta shake this up before we vape it so maybe we'll come back to this that's filled up with a uh, strange fruit sour milk by the way but uh since that needs to be shaken and i'm going to continue shaking it while i talk about this recurve that recurve squonker i'm doing a review for this very very soon next week next week i'll have a review up for the recurve squonker i've been spending a lot of time with this it's a fantastic fan it's not perfect. I do have some gripes with it, but it's overall a pretty fantastic little single battery squonker. Got it topped with the Recoil Rebel RDA right there. This is loaded up with the uh, Rocket Blast. Banging. I got an M-Turk build on the inside. Awesome. Awesome vape. Yes. Of course the batteries are dead. Of course the batteries are dead. It's because it's vlog day right now and all my batteries should be dead on vlog day. So much better. A new battery, man. It's just like, it's like night and day inside unregulated mods. It's unbelievable because you, it the batteries drain so slowly that you don't even notice when it's happening. You're just like, hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. And it's not until they're dead that you go, well, this is kind of hitting a little bit weaker right now. And then you, you know, you throw a new battery in there and it's like freaking brand new mod. But back to the V-Zone E-Mask, I think this is substantially shaken up. So let's have a vape. Got a little bit of juice, leaky liquid shit. And I don't know exactly where that's coming from, but we're gonna vape it anyway. Love those coil heads. Good Lord, I love the Falcon Resin Artisan coil heads. They're some of the best coil heads just, just ever. Then, Reload Vapor, Squonker, topped, still topped with that Profile RDA. Been really, been really fascinated by this Profile RDA. I don't wanna be like, I love it, you know, like right away. It's good, I'm getting a real good vape from it. So I will say this, that so far, out of every mesh-based, you know, rebuildable atomizer that exists, this is excluding like mesh coil heads. We're talking about just atomizers where you install the mesh yourself. Uh, pardon me, I think, this is, uh, I think this is the best one we've seen like so far. Pretty sure the batteries are dying in that as well. Yay! And then uh, what do we got? Second to last here, Vindicator. Kennedy, Vindicator, Kennedy, RDA. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I'm going to do a review for this too, real, real soon. Next week. Let's just call it. Next week, I'm going to re finally review the Vindicator. But this is has an M-Turk build in it. And I have the M-Turk 
uh, Turkish Harvest, which is an apple butterscotch. These coils are already wet. And dude, this juice, this juice could become like a legacy juice for me. I've been vaping it so much and I have not gotten sick of it. And that makes me so excited. I really want, I kind of want this juice to become a legacy juice. I thought it was gonna be like Turkish blend. I was like, okay, I really like this custard. This could become a legacy juice. And then I got, I was like, okay, I'm not so in love with the custard after vaping it for like, you know, weeks and weeks on end. And then I was like, Turkish maize, Turkish maize is delicious. This juice is amazing. Maybe this will finally, you know, maybe this will become a legacy juice. Turns out that I don't like fuck tons of, of Turkish maize. As delicious as that juice is, I just can't do it like, all day long is like my daily banger vape. But this, this Turkish harvest, the apple butterscotch, it's good. So good, so good, too good. And then uh, lastly, but certainly not leastly, it's that Monarch from Aspen Mod Co. This one is named Fjord, and I think I have some freshly charged batteries in here. It's topped with that Reload Vapor Reload X RDA. This is my cocktail of pony on acid as, as well as some CBD in there. It's what I vape the majority of the time all day long. I find it to just be the most enjoyable thing ever and uh, yeah, it's good. Let's vape it. Shut up. Vape it. Fuck, that's good. That's good. That's amazing. So that is what I have been vaping. And if my memory serves me correct, that means that the very next thing we're going to jump into is this big pile of vape mail right here. So I think these are... Yeah, these are definitely Febreze scented garbage bags, which look, they're not my favorite. I much prefer, much prefer the vanilla, but you know, sometimes when they have a two pack of the Febreze scented, you go, oh, okay, well, that's a two pack, right? I mean, I'm not gonna say no to a two pack for reduced cost. I'm gonna get the Febreze ones, doesn't much matter. Anyway, let's jump into this. This is where all my DHL was. I got a bunch of DHL packages here, a bunch. Oh, this might be too much. This might be too much vape mail. Oh, the Loop 1.5 RDA. The Loop 1.5. I wonder what they changed between this and the original because I really like the Loop. I, I really liked that Loop RDA from Geek Vape. And this is the Loop 1.5. And I, okay, well, I'm just going to grab my e-mask here because I kind of want to take a look at this here deck. Oh, it's the same deck. It's the same exact deck. It's, it's the same exact deck, right? I mean, that's the same, how many more times can I say it? I think this is the same exact deck as the original Loop RDA. The airflow looks a little bit different. It's got these kind of like weird, I don't know, like uh, audio signal looking uh, bars on there for adjusting the airflow. I wonder why they give you so many. Oh, it's for single coil and dual coil. Okay, I see what's going on here. I see, this is for single coil. That is for dual coil. Well, shit, maybe we'll set up the Loop RDA. Maybe we'll set up the very first thing that I opened. Also got some uh, stuff here from Inakin. These are new uh, Proton kits with the, it, it's a new Scion tank. Is this the Scion? It's the Scion Plexus. So it uses the new Plexus coil heads. Inakin has the new mesh Plexus coil heads, which I have only tried the Plexus coil heads in that, uh, in the mouth to lung, uh, whoa, 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 what's the name of it? Uh, I can't remember. Inakin Chroma A Zenith kit. Chroma A Zenith kit. I've only tried the Plexus coil heads in the Zenith kit. I haven't tried them in the Scion. So, ooh, shit, maybe that's something we set up as well. Or not set up as well, set up in addition, not in addition to, instead of the loop. I don't know. What am I even talking about right now, honestly? Oh, wow, this is from Cthulhu. This is a mouth to lung RDA, which I am I am always, always skeptical of mouth to lung RDAs. As it stands, I think I've had one fine, like very serviceable mouth to lung RDA. Mouth to lung RDAs are difficult. It's difficult to do. It's difficult to get the airflow right because there's more then there's more 
to a mouth to lung than just tight airflow. Okay, and a lot of RDAs, they, they do it wrong. They get it wrong. It's not just tight airflow. There's so much more that goes into it. So I'm really interested to see what these uh, shape up to be. So they say it's for mouth to lung and sick nick sick nults. What? Hi, dyslexia. Sick. N I said it again. Salt nick vaping. Salt nicks. It says it is the smallest chamber RDA on the market. Squonking friendly. Raised build deck to make sure no flavor loss. Squonk friendly. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a real quick look at it. Let's see it in stainless. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's not, it looks fine, I guess, from the outside. I don't, I, I kind of am not, what? I'm kind of not in love with the way that this looks. I don't know why every mouth to lung RDA or tank or anything has to come with these weird, like, contoured, swoopy little dorky drip tips. Oh, this could be something. This could be a thing. They did the airflow real well I mean real well they even did the chamber on the inside real well this this could be like amazing oh that airflow feels feels real nice well shit okay maybe I'll set this up how does it look without a drip tip is this a, is this an atomizer you could rock without that dorky drip tip on top because it looks so much better like so much cooler without that drip tip. All right, shit. All right, all right, 1928 mouth to lung RDA from Cthulhu. You are the thing that might be getting set up. It's weird. It's, you know, there's some weeks where I'm opening vape mail and it's like, I don't really want to set that up. I don't really want to set that up. I don't really want to, and like nothing is really like jumping out at me. And this week's vape mail, it's like, I want to set up that loop. I want to set up this plexus. I want to set up this 1928. So far, I basically want to set up everything that's come in the mail. <laughs> oh no. This is that fush. This is the fush semi mechanical mod. Oh, the fush. The fush is weird. You guys, the fush is weird. This might be something that I have to throw a battery in just to kind of show you real quickly. Like, What's up with this fush? So this is the fush. I got a live demonstration of this at ECC. And thank you, Nicole, for the very nice wooden, like, uh, postcard type of situation. That's that's very cool, Nicole. Thank you. So this is a semi, semi-mechanical. They call it semi-regulated or a semi-mech mod. Like, it's kind of a mech mod, but not really a mech mod. And that it's not fully mechanical because... It lights up like a Christmas tree when you use it. Now, what kind of batteries does this take? Looks like it takes an 18650. And here's the fush. And I'm gonna screw this together. Oh yeah, you can see the whole thing. It lights up. It lights up like crazy. Now on this fush mod, which, wh why? <laughs> why is it named the fush? Yeah, it's got a five on, five off, and the whole damn mod lights up. And right now there's nothing attached, so it's blinking, but it changes all sorts of different colors. I think there's a way with like clicking and holding to like to get through this sort of like menu navigation that you can't physically see in order to like change the colors on this, but it's a single 18650 unregulated. You would just put an RDA on here. Here we can we can even just throw the Kennedy on here right now and see how that works. Dang, it's 25 millimeters even. It fits on there. And it look I mean it looks it's a little bit silly, right? It's a little bit big and silly. And it's firing, but there's no lights coming on. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it hits hard. It feels like a mech. Okay, I gave it a three click and it started glowing purple. Does that mean it stays on forever until I press the button? Or does that just mean that it just stays on forever, forever? The fush? Here, let's give it a one, two, three. Nope, now it's just purple. It's eternally purple. I have a purple glowing semi-mech. Okay, three clicks and, and it turned off. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Different color? Nope, still purple. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, now it went through red and it went through this whole sequence. And now it's off. Five on, five off. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now it's on. Now it's on again. And I press the button and it'll fire. One, two, three. It's just, okay, so, so far all I've found out is five clicks on, five clicks off, and you get this little color display, and then you do it three times and you get a purple. So far I can only get it to turn purple fush. But anyway, that's the fush, man. I saw that thing at ECC and I just was, I thought it was so crazy. Just so weird and so crazy. This is not vape mail. Who did this come from? This came from someone. Someone sent me a Funko Pop. Someone sent me a witch Funko Pop? Someone sent me a black Philip Funko Pop from the movie The Vitch, which is crazy, crazy good, crazy scary movie. Uh, I have to watch that movie with subtitles on though because it's British and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that all British people have like this unintelligible accent, but there's one particular actor and I don't remember his name, but he's the same actor that was in the British version of The Office. He played Chris Finch in The Office. That's how I remember his name. And he's got like this real like low, like, garbly voice anyway to begin with like it's really low and he talks in a really really british accent and so like 10 minutes into the movie i was like casey we're gonna need to turn on the subtitles for this definitely holy crap well dude that's cool this is cool this is a cool pop this is awesome what, so what else is in here something else is in here it's, it's a it's a little guy it's a little guy that's made out of rope and a skull with a little guy that's made of... Who did this come from? There's no name on the box. I guarantee you this came from one of my subscribers, one of my patrons. I seem to remember to talking to somebody about like a thank you gift that they wanted to send. If you, this is you, if you sent me this awesome gift, um, please let me know down in the comments below so that I can give you proper credit, but... Awesome, knickknacks and toys included. And it looks like I have a black Philip Funko Pop from uh, The Witch, which is just fantastic. And that comes, you know, at the perfect time. Like we're getting into September now, we're getting into October, we're getting closer to Halloween, which I love Halloween. In fact, if you wanna do a real quick getting to know Grim Green, right now um when i was a child uh, i told my mom that i would rather have two halloweens instead of a halloween and a christmas that's how much i love halloween and so i'm really looking forward to it it's all coming together i'm gonna rewatch the vitch just because i got that black philip funko thank you thank you to whomever sent that did you flavor and it's called the the Enta? The Enta RDA. Enta RDA. It says it was designed in Italy by Giuseppe Papadarpo and Salvatore Argosi <laughs> in close collaboration with Digiflavor, designed for tight mouth to lung draw, especially suitable for tobacco and fruity flavored e liquids and nicotine salt e-liquids. I wonder why they would say it's specific for uh, fruit and tobacco flavors. That's just a weird thing to say. Like, I couldn't vape a banana in here. It's not ideal for banana vapes. So you're telling me I can't vape banana in your in your atomizer here? Uh, yeah, uh, looks like a mouth to lung guy. Real tight, real, real tight mouth to lung guy. Is this it looks like a little single coil deck in there. I apologize. I'm not going to be able to do a close up right now. I got this new camera. I'm sure people have noticed. I wasn't going to bring any attention to it, um, but uh, I'm still learning this camera and uh, I'm not going to be able to just like put this up to the camera like I usually do and show you the, the deck on it. But it's a little two post deck. Looks like your coil is going to hover right over your airflow, and it looks like the airflow is controlled with this large, large set screw. At least I think that's how it goes. It looks like it has this uh, PMMA like style cap, and it has a beauty ring for the drip tip. Interesting. Real, real tight airflow, but interesting nonetheless. Ugh, and it comes with a little box of accessories, which is always my least favorite thing. Looks like it comes with, oh, these are all different 
little airflow blocks. They look like little, little tiny Legos with like little grooves and rails on them. And that set screw probably holds this in place. And that's how you adjust the airflow is by using different modular little tiny airflow blocks, which, all right, I mean, that's whatever. That's that's whatever. It's whatever right now. I'm not judging it. I just, it's something I need to use uh, before I can sort of pass any uh, judgment on it. I just feel like that's a real bad idea. Like, I just want to say that right now, right out of the gate. I feel like that's kind of a bad idea that in order to adjust the airflow, you got to take out a big, like, Allen key set screw and clip, unclip this little black, like, Lego looking piece and then find the airflow that you want and then slide it back in and then set that screw. Also, because that little Lego airflow block piece is directly underneath your coil. So you're probably going to be moving your coil every time you want to adjust the airflow. That's weird. It's just weird. I just, sorry. I just think it's weird. Here's the thing. It's, I've been vaping for a long time and I get old and I get old and I get curmudgeon -y, and I get more curmudgeon -y, And that's the problem is a lot of the stuff coming out right now is fine. It's fine. It's fine vape gear, but it's not it's not it's not special you know i don't know i don't want to go on some big you know uh, soapbox rant about innovation in the vape industry or this that and the other but like i mean like this 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 is innovation is this innovation the the, the purple fush mod is that innovation is a mouse to lung rda that you need to swap out little lego bricks like six different little bricks and with a set screw in order to change your airflow like is that innovation or is that just different for the sake of doing something uh, doing something different? I don't know. I mean, at the very least, it's an inter interesting question to ask. Oh. oh, shit. Yes. Yes, I have been dying. Dying with a capital D dying to try out this atomizer. This is Matt Cully, Suck My Mod. His new atomizer, the Hermetic RDA, which, Matt, I, I've been waiting to say this to you for a while now. That's a real bad name for an atomizer. Hermetic? The Hermetic RDA? Hermetic? Like hermetically sealed? Is that kind of what you were going for? Hermetic? I don't know. It makes me think of like something medical because I guess it has the word medic in it and that's where my brain goes, but it's fine. You know what? Fuck it. It's whatever. Who cares what it's named as long as it vapes good, right? It looks cool. It, it looks cool. I love this logo that's etched on here. It's so clean and simple and just slick. Looks slick. Yeah, and it's got that deck. It's got that like... Uh, you know, what was the name of that RDA? The Ghoul? It's got like a Ghoul style clamp system deck. Your coil just sits right over that little bridge of airflow. Uh, Matt already has a review. Obviously, it's his own product. He's already got a video up for it. I just got it just now, just today. It's a nice little restricted lung hit like flavor banger. Or... I mean, at least I hope, I hope that it's a flavor banger. Matt Cully over there at Suck My Mod, he gets pretty serious about flavor and airflow and things like that. And so I'm really interested to try this. In fact, shit, I just want to set this up. I just want to set, I want to review this right now, but I'm not going to do that. But this is what's getting set up. I just decided it's what's getting set up and it is uh, dripper friendly, I believe, as well as squonker friendly. This does not have a squonk pin in it, but I can only assume that it has to come with a squonk pin, but I'm going to be using it as a uh, as a dripper. In fact, I might put it on this e-mask mod, which Matt is Matt's review is the reason why I love this e-mask mod so much. 810 drip tip black. That looks cool. Okay. Cool, man. All right. So so right now, that's the winner to, to get set up. I have one package left, but right now, I think I'm going to be setting up that black Suck My Mod Hermetic 
RDA. And just for fun, we'll just put it on that Fush mech mod. Nope, okay, that's it. I, I thought there was another package. It turns out that an empty box sitting over here when I glanced down looked like it was gonna be another package. Turns out I don't have another package. So the last thing I opened, that Hermetic RDA, that's what's winning. That's what's gonna get set up today. But I actually got, I'm really excited, uh, honestly, about everything I got. Maybe not the Fush. I mean, it's fine. I'm going to use it. it. It seems like a real novelty kind of thing, that fush, but I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to use it. I'm really excited about the new Inakin stuff. I'm excited for that. I got two mouth to lung RDAs today, that Cthulhu and the Digiflavor Ent Enta, Enta RDA. I mean, the Hermetic wins. Matt, you won. Suck my mod. You won. I'm setting this up. I'm going to set it up right now. What I'm going to do real quickly is just clean up this here whole messy situation that's going on. And then I'm going to set up that Hermetic RDA and then we'll come back and vape it. So I got everything cleaned up. I went ahead and built the sun's coming out. The sun is coming out and it's going to mess up my whole video. Eh, fuck it. I don't care at this point. That don't care. Literally don't care. Anyway, got everything cleaned up. I got that, uh, hermetic got that hermetic rda all built and wicked i mean simple the most simple rda apart from the ghoul that i've ever used it's literally one screw it lifts up ceramic clamps you put your leads in you screw the clamps down that's it i used a fiends framed staple which the specs of it are uh, it looks like it's uh, clapton with 42 gauge nichrome 80 it has a six core uh, Niachrome 80 and 220 uh, framed. Okay, so a framed staple is multi core wire framed with a bigger gauge and then clapped with a really fine gauge. And that's what a framed staple is. So the clapped on the outside is 42 gauge. The wires on the inside are 3N86. Oh, so it's six cores of Niachrome 80 and then framed with 228 gauge niachrome 80 round wires uh, and a dual is supposed to come out to 0 0.11 0 0.13 six wrap on a three millimeter i like frame staples for single coil flavor banger builds i find that with frame staples this, the resistance sometimes gets real low i mean real low i've run zach fiends like dual uh, frame staples in mods before and it's like 0.07 and you're just like okay where's that where's that parallel mod that i'm going to run this on that's why i like to run frame staples in single coil bangers because they usually come out a little bit higher this is a 0.23 single coil and frame staples are just flavor bangers of of coils anyway they are they're some of the best flavor i've ever had is from a frame staple so i put a frame staple in here super easy to install super easy to wick i didn't you know uh need like a tutorial or anything like that i went okay well here's how you put it in here's how you clip your cotton stuff it down drip it like crazy it is also squonker but i'm dripping on it right now and sometimes I've noticed, sometimes I've noticed, the one time that I've dripped on this, I've noticed that you can kind of just blow your juice right through the middle. And it's gonna go down and hit your coils, and then it's gonna go down into the juice well, and your first like two toots on it are gonna feel a little bit slurpy because the airflow kind of comes down and then there's this little grate that kind of directs it right at your coil and juice will sometimes be in that little grating or below that little grating. Thankfully, with this RDA, again, I've taken two drags off of this so far. I've noticed that you don't really give it a strong like Kent Hill style like like heavy intense drag it's a much much more mellow relaxed sort of uh drag that you would take on it i loaded it up with that uh bogan brews fed dinkum it's a delicious juice it's one of those juices that i really like but vaping it i can see other people going oh that's weird and it is it's real weird it's like lychee and black currant uh juice it's sweet it's good uh i, I like it i really like black currant flavors but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the hermetic here. Matt Cully. Matt Cully, I'm talking directly to you. First of all, I really like this logo. I think it's really cool. Um, I really like this RDA so far. It's been uh, two vapes of awesome flavor. And now what I'm going to do is stop talking and actually vape it a little bit. Banging. 
banging flavor 57 watts 0.23 so it's only giving me 3.6 volts to that single coil it's not overcooking the juice it's not getting too hot sometimes frame staples um, heat up real quickly they don't need a lot of wattage to really get going real real quickly they just they're instantaneous it's like the heat transfer is crazy on these frame staples so i find myself rocking at like 57 watts 0 0.2357 that's kind of where i'd be i don't know i guess that's kind of where i'd be anyway anyway i'll take a few more too so yeah it's good the airflow the airflow could be smoother that's what i'm going to say right now the airflow could be smoother it feels very jagged uh, very sharp sharp airflow i think some beveling in there might have been helpful especially on that top cap there's no beveling in this uh, airflow it doesn't look like there's any beveling in here it's just sharp edges on sharp edges which tends to create kind of a sharp uh ish feeling airflow but look how cool look at the little size of this guy little one little airflow slot right there flavor flavor for days and uh one thing i've noticed in my current vapings of this very little spit back like almost zero spit back on this the airflow the the tightness of the airflow and it is a restricted lung hit but that restricted lung hit really heavily reminds me of that silver play rta it's got that like same style like slightly stiff restricted lung hit it just I like it I just like that particular style of airflow it's like the OG recoil like a uh, flavor bro flavor cap this cap that silver play they all have that restricted lung hit and that is uh, that is my love that is my first love of vaping is restricted lung hits and maybe I'm finding this so satisfying because those coils are just really nice and nice and poppy they just explode with vapor I really like how poppy these frame staples are in here and I think that's kind of helping add to my enjoyment of this particular atomizer dang all right well I have a feeling I'm going to be using the ever loving shit out of this atomizer so expect a review much sooner rather than later because it's already set up All right, Nick, save it for the review. I don't love the airflow. Save it for the review. I don't love the airflow. Dang, okay. The flavor, that flavor kind of makes it worth it. Anyway, what we're going to do right now is uh, we're winding down. We're kind of winding down to the end of the vlog here. I'm on a very limited time schedule. So what I want to do right now is we're going to take the retro vaping and we're going to take the random juice tasting and we're just going to smash them all together and create like a Cronenberg monster of a segment. So this is going to be retro vaping and a very random juice tasting all together. Which means I'm going to need to use my e-mask for this very random juice tasting as well as this retro vaping. So, shit, I don't know uh, how I want to do this. I guess we'll talk about the retro vaping first and then uh, I'll drip the juice that I'm going to vape and I'll vape it while we're talking. And then after that, then we'll talk about the juice that I've been vaping throughout this segment. How about we introduce the juice as well at the beginning and then we'll wrap it up with the juice at the end. Anyway, for the random juice tasting, I have this juice from S&K Vapors. S&K Vapors. Uh, I was contacted by, I can't remember his name. I genuinely cannot remember his name because I'm a terrible person, but I was contacted by S&K Vapors specifically for this juice. And this juice, and, and you're not seeing things, it says Jape Drank on it. Jape Drank. And it's... I mean, clearly a house-made juice. This is made by a vape shop for a vape shop. It's got like a, a like a mailing slip sort of like printer label on it. No, no, no big nicotine warnings or anything like that. It's like a matte like inkjet printed label on it. But 
he says that this Jape drink is better than the Pixie Dip. Um, Ruby was on a huge Pixie Dip kick and I like that anarchist purple and I do really like the pixie dip as well and he said that this is better he said this is the best grape pixie dip type of flavor that he's ever had so we're going to vape it, be vaping it throughout this segment and what we're going to be vaping it on ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. maybe you can't tell from the deck this is the velocity the original velocity I actually think this is the velocity version Two, I never had a Velocity version one, but I know this is an authentic Velocity version two. I got this at one of the Vape Mania events in North Carolina. I don't remember which one. I had this guy's name written down forever as to who gave me this, but uh, it's gone. It's long since gone, and I don't remember who gave me it. So if you gave me a Velocity in North Carolina at a Vape event, please let me know down in the comments below. I will pin it to the top and I'll be like, it was this guy. This guy gave it to me. And it's uh, it's Velocity. It's Velocity version two. I mean, this is the innovator of the Velocity deck. This is, this is the atomizer that dozens and dozens of Chinese companies just cloned into the ground. But Cisco and Dino... Uh, I mean, in last week, we talked about the marquee RDA that Dino did. This week, we're talking about the Velocity RDA that I know for sure Cisco and Dino did. They are the originators of this. They are the original innovators of that Velocity style deck. And looking back at the Velocity style deck, it's real interesting. You know what I mean? It's real interesting to see where we've come as far as decks and how clamp systems have become real you know, real popular and velocity style decks kind of have, have gone a little bit by the wayside. It's just as easy to install a coil on this as it ever has been. The velocity deck is just made for easy coil installation, especially if you wrap your own coils. If you buy coils, people like Coil Turd, people like Fiends, people like, uh, you know, J-Boy, people like, uh, like uh, M Turk, people like... Uh, I don't know, I can't think of any builders, but they always put that crimp in the last lead so that their leads are all facing the same direction, right? The Velocity deck is meant to have coils installed that don't crimp that last lead. So you have one high and one low and you can just go zoop and install it and just go zoop and install it. So it was a little bit of, of fiddliness trying to install these coil turd coils in here because he puts the little crimp in the end of it so his leads are going the straight way. So you have to put it on a little tool, take out that crimp so that there's they're offset and then you can install them in the deck and once you do that dude it's so easy i noticed i noticed that on my velocity i believe this is the velocity v2 i genuinely don't know if there is a way to tell whether it's the velocity v2 mine just says v12886 don't know don't know if it's the one or two don't don't really know i think it's the velocity v2 and i genuinely like it's been so long i don't know what they changed between the velocity v1 or the velocity v2 but i think i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna say it again i think this is the velocity version 2. And what i was gonna say is uh i noticed that on my deck one side of the holes is substantially smaller than the other side of the holes the positive side the positive post has big holes in it and the negative post has big-ish holes in it. They're a little bit smaller. I actually had to like wiggle this alien through it in order to get it like in through the hole. And I noticed another thing when I was building on this as well is the screws come in from the side, which has now become like one of my most annoying things of everything that's ever been annoying. I hate when you put like a flat wire, like an alien or a frame staple into your hole and then the screw comes in from the side. That's that's never that's never a positive thing, IMO. I like it when, when the screw hits it flat or when a clamp hits it flat. It makes so much more sense to me. But I mean, at the time, this was when building was kind of just going off and you could put fuse clappings in here all day long. You might have a little bit of issue with aliens and you're definitely gonna have an issue if you have a velocity trying to put framed staples in there just because they're a little bit wider. It's not impossible, it's just gonna be a little bit tougher to get them in there. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put this Jape Drank juice on this velocity and uh, yeah, I'm excited. 
I'm excited to vape this velocity and I'm genuinely excited to try out this juice that's been spoken so highly of. So these particular coil turd coils came out to a 0.13 dual. So I'm gonna run it at about 82 watts. Yeah, that seems good. That doesn't seem like it's gonna be too much, too crazy. Uh, airflow on the velocity. Okay. Yeah, that, va that vapor smells really good. That vapor smells banging. So let's see how I'm gonna adjust this airflow. No, that's too much. So I'm gonna close off the eyeballs. And if you're familiar with the velocity, you know that there's eyeballs and then there's a slot. So I'm gonna close off the eyeballs. There we go. Oh, that is smooth. That is a smooth, smooth airflow. I forgot how smooth the velocity airflow is. I also forgot that it's not really super conducive on a velocity deck to blow your juice through the middle. I like blowing my juice and hitting actual coils. When you blow your juice on a velocity style deck, it kind of goes through the goalpost, like right through the upright arches, and then your coils are sitting here not getting any juice on them, and then the juice is just kind of traveling right through the middle. This is uh. Velocity, to me, in my opinion, uh, has always been a pop and paint situation. Although I'm sure people out there will argue with me, and I know you can blow your juice through the middle, but to me, personally, it's always been a pop and paint situation. But let's try out some of this Jape Drank. That's weird. That's real weird, but the airflow on this Velocity it is pretty banging and the flavor seems now look i know i'm trying a flavor that i've never tried before but the flavor on this velocity seems a little bit lacking to me in this particular moment i'm going to close down that airflow a little bit i'm going to turn up this wattage a little bit as well let's give this another shot with that airflow closed down a little bit and if, if in 2018 that just looks dorky right that just looks like a real tall dorky atomizer, especially with this big threaded drip tip. Like if this was shorter and they gave it a low pro, man, I would like to see a Velocity 3. I'd like to see a Velocity 3. I'm just putting that out there. Cisco, I know we haven't spoken in years. I don't know if you still watch my videos. I would like a Velocity v version 3, please. Interesting, okay. Well, now we're going to open this airflow up just a little bit, and I think this is going to be—I think this is going to be like the sweet spot of this atomizer and this airflow. Now, if we're going to talk about this Jape drank real fast, well, okay. So far, so good. That's what I'm going to say. So far, so good. What I'm going to do is now that I have my airflow dialed in, now that I've got these coils all nice and wet, I'm just going to sit back real quick. I'm going to vape this, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Cue the music. All right, so the velocity is awesome. It's been vaping so great. I don't know if it's a combination of like this particular airflow setting that I have. It looks like it's about halfway closed down with none of the eyeballs open and these really poppy, poppy, poppy like coil turd uh, aliens in here that are really poppy and delicious. I love like poppy coils like that. Usually get that from like anarchist wire and I really like that poppiness and truly and honestly this velocity is giving me just as good a vape right now as it ever has and as good as i mean anything that's on my desk right now maybe with the exception of like nothing it they it it's giving me a really good vape this is just as good as my rebel it's just as good as that kennedy it's just as good as that reload vapor x it's it's it holds up the velocity holds up. In fact, I would like to know. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to do a poll right now. And the way that you do this is answer in the comments down below. Do you have a velocity? Do you still use your velocity on the reg? That's what I want to know. I want to, I want to hear from those that still use the velocity on the reg. Now, as far as this Jape drank juice goes, it's good. It's a solid, solid juice. It kind of reminds me if you mixed... Uh, pixie dip and anarchist purple. It's got like a little bit of that like pixie dip sort of sweet candy component to it. It also has that like, 
you know, a bubblegum uh, grape sort of flavor to it as well. It's not, it's not my favorite thing. I, I like it, but I, I much prefer it in uh, in small doses. But this juice is tasty. It, it's a tasty little liquid, man. It's good. It tastes good. I mean, it's not blowing my mind. It's not like uh, like becoming a, a legacy juice, like something I'm going to need to vape constantly, like all day long, every day. But it's good. It's just as good as Pixie Dip. It's just as good as Anarchist Purple. And it's Jape Drank from s and Vapor. And I'm, that's a vape shop, and I don't quite remember where it is, but I'll get all that information down in the description down below if you want to try to check this juice out. But it's good. It's fine. This juice was really this juice was really hyped up to me quite a bit. It's good. That's what I'm that's where I'm gonna leave this. Jape drank juice is good. It is a good liquid. It's not like wow, amazing flavor. Like I'm gonna go put this in a tank now and an RDA and I'm gonna vape it all the time. But it's good. If you are a frequenter of the SNK vape shop, check out Jape Drank. You might as well. What, I mean, what have you got to lose? You're going to have a delicious juice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dang, that's good. All right. Well, there we go. Two birds, one stone. Oh, and it is getting late. So I genuinely think that is where we are going to end the vlog this week week. I told you it wasn't going to be a real vlog and it's probably not going to be a real long vlog either. Uh, pardon me, but I wanted to burp and I wanted to get some hot vlog action out there. And so this is where we land on a short week where just nothing went right and and, and it's a short week and, and shit's going wrong and all this stuff is happening. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I got something, something up for the vlog. We did vape mail. We got some good Shit, like this was the this was like the best vape mail I've had in a really long time. I'm genuinely excited about every single product that I have over there. So I'm gonna be tearing into those. But that's what I got. For let me just I don't think I did, just let me take a quick look and make sure I didn't forget anything. But yeah. All right, that's it. I think we're good. And uh, you know, I say this at the end of every vlog, but you guys that make it here to the end of the vlog, you're just my favorite people on earth. If I ever have the opportunity to meet you. IRL. I do dispense hugs or I also dispense crisp high fives. The choice is yours. Some people do both. Most people do both. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for bearing with me. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, pow, let's keep on vaping.